what's going on. <laughs> so, the earth is flat. Did you know that? I've spent all day doing nothing but research on this idea that the earth is actually flat. Is it really flat or is it round? What have we been taught for so many years, our entire lives? The earth is spherical or the earth is an oblong sphere. But is it really? I don't know. And what really prompted me to really start looking at this was this morning I was driving to work and I heard this song by B.O.B. And it's called Flatlines. And it was basically talking about several conspiracies. But the main one was that the earth was flat. So what did your boy do? What did your alpha do? Naturally, I'm curious about stuff like this. So what I ended up doing was I looked it up, started Google searching everything, looking at YouTube videos, trying to find credible sources about everything. And you know what? The question is in my head. Is the world flat? Is it a disk or is it a sphere? Is the sun really as big as what it is? Or is it really a lot smaller and closer? Therefore giving the impression that it's further and bigger. If it's further and bigger, the shadows that are cast between the different hemispheres that we have will cast the shadows that we see today. However, if it's smaller and closer, they would cast the same shadows. And why does that matter? Why does the sun have to be closer and smaller? Because in order for the same shadows to be casted, on a flat surface versus a spherical surface, it has to be closer and smaller. That's the only way to explain something like that. And if the world is not round, how do we have gravity? Because gravity is explained by the spherical motion of the Earth turning, 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 right? And the hot liquid metal is in the middle turning, 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 creating a field that we know as gravity today. The way they explain that is the spherical disk of our planet is actually moving up, therefore pressing us down, and that gravity is actually fake. They also went as far as to show the patterns or the... Um, the routes in which planes take when they do international flights. And they couldn't find a source of an international flight going outside the cir circular description of what their flat earth means. I'm sure that's false. Just like Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, they always find facts to disprove the other and show them in a positive light or to show that their way is the best way or their theory is the best theory. Their awards are the best rewards. So, is the Earth actually flat? I don't think so. There's just too much to disprove. And each theory, each theory that I've seen so far that is meant to prove a specific point about how the Earth can be flat cannot be explained when placed together with another theory about a different problem that needs to be solved with that flatness. So it makes no sense. One theory should be an absolute theory, a well-rounded theory that should match inside the equations of all other theories, right? For it to make sense. And if you can't do that, that kind of goes outside the idea of the way we see physics today. I don't normally post videos like this. However, it was a subject that I thought were on people's minds. And I don't know, I just felt like I needed to talk to y'all about it because it was something that was on my mind, something I was thinking about, and I want to know your thoughts. 
you know, like, really truly in the comments, I want to know your thoughts. I really want to know what you think about this whole flat earth theory. What it means to you. Does it make sense? Is it a bunch of foolishness? What do you think? Like, let's go back and forth on this one. Let's really talk about this one because I'm really curious to see what a lot of people think. This is the first time I'm hearing about this today. And it's the reason why I even researched it to begin with. But can we have a simple dialogue on this? And let's see where it goes. Let's see if it causes us to look further down the rabbit hole to see if we can uncover anything further. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is just a simple thought based on something I saw or something I heard that I just want to discuss with you guys. That's all. In regards to today, what I did today, pretty much I went to work. I went to work. I watched what I ate today and now I'm going back home. I didn't do anything. One reason I didn't do anything is my back still kind of hurts a little bit. Um, I developed some kind of tennis elbow from all that shoveling. So my elbow is just a little bit like, um, it hurts a little bit on the joint. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, like, like my tendon is inflamed. It just, I don't know. It just feels funny. So I'm trying to just stay away from any strenuous activities, but in the, at the same time, I'm trying to make sure that my diet's fine. Um, I really appreciate all the new subscribers that have been coming to my channel, and I really appreciate every single subscriber that has decided to have faith in me and decided to give me a try, give me a shot, and watch my videos for what they are. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Um, I have big ideas, and I'm going to start implementing them as soon as I get this new laptop. I'm waiting for it. It's supposed to come on the 4th of February. And as soon as I get it, I'm going to hit the ground running. Because I'm going to have enough processing power um, to do the things I want to do. Especially with the Adobe platform. So, look out for new ideas and new things that I have on the horizon. And guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, this is your alpha speaking out to you letting you know that life demands results. Life demands results. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Having conversations with D-Rock. It's coming so soon. So live life. <laughs> live life. I love y'all. Have a good night.